Hey folks, how are you? Well, I've traveled all day to get here. I drove a few hours in my car, down some highways, down some logging roads, down some trails even. And I put in my canoe and I paddled and I portaged. I saw some pretty cool things, some interesting things along the way. It's a really nice day. The purpose of this trip, purpose of this, the purpose of this trip is to see if the fish are even active yet. It's early May. I'm at the spot where John and I smashed trout last year. Um, I went out yesterday to a spot where I've caught them before, no bites at all. So I'm thinking it might still be a little touch too, a tad too early. There's ice on the water in spots still. I actually had to bust through my way pretty hard to get here. But this is a good central location. I still have to travel another two lakes over to get to the fishing spot. Tonight is just my like overnighting until I get to my actual trip part, right? So today's been a full day, don't get me wrong. but. We'll leave everything here and then tomorrow we'll go out two or three lakes past. We'll spend the full day out, we'll bring stuff for lunch, hopefully catch a fish and do a shore lunch. Uh, and then at the end of the day, we'll come back to this campsite and camp out again. I've got my normal canoe stuff. Pretty lightweight pack though, just for two nights. So I've been looking around. I gotta set up a tarp and sleep under a tarp because that's what I brought for shelter. There's no bugs yet. And this is one of the flatter spots. And they come over here and I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, massive wolf dung. Massive wolf scat. Look at this. Yuck. Eat that on over there. And good as new. This will be my bo my bone, my home, and my bed all at the same time. Nice and covered. Cool. Relatively flat, and that's what matters most. Just trying to clean up all the pokies and all the poopies. <laughs> all right, pretty mossy, pretty damp, but it'll be good. Yeah, this will be good. I'm stare out, I'll check out my view. Not too shabby, huh? Monster Brucky. Oh yeah, he's jizzing. There you go, bud. Wow. Monster brookie right off the hop as soon as I got into this lake. I just went for a little paddle uh, after my campsite or whatever same lake um, Just maybe like a freaking 10 minute paddle and I threw my lure in and trolled for five minutes And I got that probably personal best brookie ever. I thought it was a lake trout It fought so hard if it was smaller I would have kept it and ate it, but it would have been a waste um, Tomorrow I'll keep one if I catch one, but I'm uh, I'm on the board with the brookies first one of the year Yes Yes, that was a tank. That was a tank. That was more than a football. That was a fucking tank, man. We creamed all over me, too. Absolutely golden morning. <laughs> right on cue. 
Thank you. Well, we've made it. We're at our fishing lake. All the trout are waiting for me. Come to Joey Trouts. Come to the Joey. Alright, first cast. Here we go. Beautiful brookie. Beautiful. Oh man. Beautiful brookie. Beautiful brookie on my first cast in my amazing secret rainbow trout lake. I let him go. Clean release. That was the first cast. It's like not even eight in the morning, um, and it was pretty big. Regardless, I will keep one. I won't. I won't tempt it too much. But I just. I felt like that was too big, and it was too early, and it was the first cast. I'll just let him go. Just let him go. You know what I mean? Create karma for the rest of the day. That was the first cast. First cast, and I caught my rainbow. No, nope. that was the first cast, and I got myself a speck. I'm gonna fish some more. I don't give a heck. Took a long time to get in here. I'll take my time. Get my full of fish. I feel like an island boy now. Another one. I'll probably keep this guy for lunch. Looks like a decent size. Nice speck. We're gonna keep this guy to eat. Beautiful colors on him and uh, not too big. I don't have any kind of frying pan or anything like that so it's gonna be bushcraft style over a fire which is awesome. I have the whole day to do it. I'm gonna continue fishing for a little bit and then I'll go find a spot collect a bunch of firewood I have my saw with me and we'll cut this guy up and put him over a stick on a fire over a fire on a stick rather probably the biggest one on the trip most colorful for sure nice clean catch on the mouth clean release I assume Nice. This is hot, man. That was that was that was special. That was a nice, big, big, colorful one. Ah, this is exactly what I wanted. Fishing for trout, good fishing for trout in shallow water before the bugs. Exactly what I wanted. I'm so glad I came. I can leave now and be happy. But I gotta eat my uh, I gotta eat my trout, my full day trout. It'll be some lunch and supper, I'm sure, for me. Well, that was pretty neat. That float plane was uh, flying by, like, across. So if I'm here, the float plane was, like, flying across in the air like this, like a T. And then it saw me and it banked right towards me. So I grabbed the camera as quick as I could. You saw it. 
and he freaking flew right over top of me and I waved to him and he banked his wing at me to say hi. I imagine they're out checking ice out conditions and he was probably very surprised to see someone out here and came to see if I was okay or just to see what the situation was. But when I waved and had pointed the camera at him, I think he got the picture that everything was copacetic. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Is that the right word, copacetic? Second guessing myself. Everything is cool. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. Google. All right, well, I'm not having too much luck over here. I'm probably gonna go head back to where I left the fish at. It's a cool spot by a little rapidy thing where we can cook up lunch. Oh, here I'm coming back. Where I can cook up lunch and uh, hang out and enjoy the scenery and stuff. So, that's what we shall do. No way. No way. <laughs> oh, that was priceless. That was, I was literally just about to shut off the freaking uh, camera. This is the smallest one. It feels like a lake trout. I can see him under the water. He's, 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 he's vicious. He's vicious. He is just going to town. All right, pretty little laker. Oh, there he goes, nice and spotty body like a leopard all right well that's cool i got a laker and four brookies now Whew. okay now i'm gonna shut off the camera and paddle back there's where i cached the fish we're just gonna grab it and then head to this really cool spot i found uh by a waterfall to cook it up we're gonna get the gills off this guy and probably got him out too then we'll put him on a stringer and put him in the water but uh I don't plan on eating this for quite a few hours, so I don't want his gills in there. Heartbreak. This is where I cached the fish. And I'm sure you can guess what I'm going to say next. I had the fish cached there with that stick between its gills and those rocks holding it in place. There's pieces, there's tiny pieces of the fish underneath, underneath the water. I saw no signs of animals except for one crow. Crows are smart. I threw, I threw all those other fish back. I'm gonna go try and catch another fish. Epic fail, man, like, ugh, heart, heartbreaking. All right, thank God we got another one. Decent size, good eater. Not as big as the last one, but we don't need it to be that big. Whew, learned my lesson there. I should have brought it with me, but I didn't have a rope with me, and I figured uh, it'll be all right. I'm gonna leave it going down to the into the lake, and I've done it before. I've done it before, but hungry crows, I guess, in the springtime. Okay, let's go cook this up before anything else happens. Mr. Turkey Vulture, was it you that took my fish? Making me blame the crow. Hey, hey, he's literally circling me. You're not getting this one, bud. F off, bud. The F is for fly away. It's pretty convenient. These rocks are all just sitting here. Just up a little fire pit really quick. Nothing too crazy. Just something to contain the uh, flames. I want to clean the fish and get it set up before I start the fire because I need it to cook on the flames and I want it to get every bit of the flames, not have to wait and fix up the fish after the fire is going. Okay, we're making progress. I'll show you the full scoop in a second here. I'm just gonna put the third skewer in. As soon as I find the skewer hole, there it is. So I'm basically using the, this middle stick as a prop support 
to kind of butterfly, <clears throat> excuse me, to kind of butterfly this trout open. I'm just getting so covered in trout in the process. Okay, here we go. See? Pretty steady on there, pretty sturdy. You flip it around. I don't want to test it too much, but let's clean this guy off. Put them, make the fire, put them over top of it. Oh, one stick in it, Joe. One stick, Joe. in the comments. Where do you come from? Where do you go? Where do you come from? Hunchback Joe. And I said, oh, that hurts. I know I have it. I see it. It sucks. I can't do anything about it. My back gun's at a weird angle. I try to be conscious of it and it's hideous. And it doesn't feel good either. Okay. Enough of that. We got our trout on. This is the culmination of the trip for me. Yes, it be. That's a real nice low flame with a lot of cedar smoke coming off of it. That's going to cook for about an hour. It's going to taste phenomenal. Like normal, we had to do some finagling with this uh, trout, and we got everything except for the head. We, uh, the snakes came out and stuff, but that's fine. Let's sit down and eat this thing. I'm so hungry, it's ridiculous. Shadow cast by the camera. All right, let's see how she goes. See what it looks like. Come on, give me a good piece here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, so very hot. Might have to go on again for a couple minutes. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, the fillets are done for sure. Woo, buddy. Well worth it. You know, it's a lot of work to get into here. Like a lot. Like it took me all day. Plus a lot of work and driving too for like a few hours. But I've never come to a place so awesome where I've never seen anybody there's readily available trout, and I can catch them, <laughs> which is uh, a bonus. Oh, God. Some of this has to go back on. I'll rig it up on a rock here. Oh man, I'm gonna be sure I'm gonna eat all this. That's got to go back on, that piece. I've still got a nice big fillet here and most of one here. Well, it's almost three now. When I got out here, I started the day at six, before seven for sure. So I put in a full day. This is awesome. This is exactly what I wanted to do. 
little mishap with the other fish, but other than that, it's been perfect. The wind has kicked up, it's gusting, and of, and of course it's in the direction that I have to go. So, I'm going to pack up and get out of here, head back to my camp, see what time I get to my camp at, and how I feel. And if I feel good and have time, I'm going to start heading back towards the truck and then camp along the way. Potentially even get back to the truck and bail tonight. It is Mother's Day on Sunday, and I have only one day that I'm home before Mother's Day if I get home tomorrow. If I get home today, I have two days. So I can plan things and do things better. She, she let me, like, originally I wasn't supposed to be here. Like I said, I was supposed to be with Tosh for, until, like, way past Mother's Day. And she's like, oh, yeah, no, don't. She's so awesome. No, don't worry. Just go. It's no big deal. I'm like, oh, man. Like, anyway, so I want to go home and, and, and make something special for her, have something special for her for Mother's Day. But that doesn't necessarily mean I have to go today. It just give me an extra day. All that said, fish is done. So I got one or two pieces here left, but I'm going to uh, pack up and head back to camp. That will be a push to get out today. Well, it took us about an hour and a half, but we're back to where we camped last night. It's too early for me to just stop here and relax, especially knowing I have a big day of travel tomorrow. So I will just chill here for a little bit. Then I'm gonna move on and see where I get to tonight. I'm gonna have a little snack, a little drink, and uh, tear down my camp. Oh yeah, nice and aired out. My stuff was soaked from sweat, condensation last night. I was way too warm. My sleeping bag was literally soaking wet. So I hung it up to dry. And obviously, all is well. <laughs> well, this feels heavenly, I'll tell you that much. Oh man, I thought this tarp was black. It certainly looks blue in the sun. Better than black. For heat and black flies, but it's still very dark. Anyways, oh man, what a day. What a day. This breeze is nice in here with this shade. Oh man. Well, I really put the pedal to the metal and I am on my access lake now. I single carried all the portages out. I double carried most of them on the way in. So I'm on this access lake and it seems like the wind is in my favor. I took a corner. And normally the wind blows the other way, but it's blowing this way today. I believe as soon as I get out here, I'll be able to tell if that's the case, it's going to be send me to my truck pretty quick and effortlessly. So you can be sure that's what I'm going to do. And it's no worries because I'll be back in the bush in two more days, three more days. I'll be back in on Monday for another few nights for another trip. Never a dull moment. Always happy to get out and always happy to go home, no matter the duration of the trip. I could have stayed another night out here, but what's the use when all that's in my head is thinking, I gotta bust my butt tomorrow and get home and drive and then figure everything out for Mother's Day. So this is the best of both worlds for me. I got to get in and get my trip in. A little solo time. I got all the trout I could ever ask for. No bugs, beautiful weather. Fighting the wind a little bit today on those other lakes, but other than that, like what big deal. That's that's par for the course on a trip. So real happy. Real happy about this one. This tailwind is absolutely amazing. It keeps gusting. Nice and strong, but it's a constant breeze. I'm coasting, man. I'm telling you, every single other time I've been here, the wind has well, the wind normally blows the other way. In general. Well, that's all she wrote. I just worked it out. I made it out from the trout spot in four hours ten minutes, and I made it. That means I made it out from my camp in about three hours. 
and it made me it took me about four and a half hours yesterday to get into the camp so the wind was with my back again like i said today anyways amazing trip very 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 happy i did this hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned we'll be back real soon bye such a good decision to move up here this is the life for us i can be home tonight so much more now it's perfect almost out to the highway